Hi, uh, Mr. Kwame. I... <sighs> I remember a lot of bad stuff today, negative stuff, of course. That's why I'm making this video, okay? I need to talk about them. Um, a service. No, outside of my 10th birthday. On my 10th birthday, I, um, uh, that was the day, uh, I tried killing myself by hoping the, the bus will run over my skull. Uh, <sighs> and I got pulled out of the bus and restrained on the cement. Bus just drove off of me, um. And, um, um, earlier that day, um, um, I got abused by many, and, uh, the day before that, I told my therapist, um, that Benny abused me, I showed her exactly how he abused me, um, Next day he abused me. And I told them, hey, you guys, threw me down the stairs. And I told her. And one time put me out the window. Um, I told her I have so many hits to head. I can't remember when it was. <sighs> so So, um, the uh, next thing to teach Mr. Orlando, he gets a big hurt, hurt, hurt me because we could really do something about it, he said. And, uh, and, uh, you know, last day I was watching a show and I said hit because I was thinking of the show that I was watching. And one sometime when I watched the show and Mix was abused and watch TV mix was abused. I get reality mixed up with uh fantasy. <sighs> but it only sounds like I don't. It sounds like I don't, but I I do. Um, so, um, yes, Lydia and Dada. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I see the talking. Oh, I can't. Oh, boss. You know? That happens with couples, right? Tomorrow, I know it does. You know? Um. So, on my 10th birthday, I, um, after, uh, I said, they hit me. He said, oh, he hurt you, but he didn't. He hurt you, 
He didn't hit you, but he hurt you, he said. Um, so I assaulted him. Exactly how Vinny would have. Actually, exactly how Vinny assaulted me in the morning that morning. I, uh... Choked him against the door, punched him at least 15 times in the head, slammed him on the floor while grabbing him by his neck, and punched him at least 15 more times. And before I did that, uh, I slapped him. I apologize to the bastard. So, um, I did that. Serve my time in time out. After getting restrained in that room. And two time out I got restrained. We can't get direct to time out. Because, you know, I said I didn't hurt him. I hit him. And he says, it's the same thing, Jake. And he says, oh, I see. It's the same thing when I do it. But that one, Vinny doesn't. You choked me and threw me against the, pushed me, threw me against the door and continued to choke me and then punched me in the head at least 50 times and then threw me on the ground and choked me and punched me more 50 times. And then you didn't stop. You just kept on doing it. Until this, um, this teacher outside decided to call the A back. Otherwise, if they, she didn't do it, Singer, she could have told me. And I said, that's the idea. Dumbass. <laughs> oh, it's your fortune this. Mr. Orlando, I still want to. More than Vinny to do that to you but I'm controlling myself so I find the urge want to and now I've told you I feel more relaxed yes <sighs> So my time time out, I went back to went to my room room. They got my birthday wrong because they said my birthday was May twenty fifth. <laughs> I kept on arguing with them until I and then I started crying and yelling. And then I said, these cats aren't saying I'm wrong. And I'm saying, there's no way we could be wrong. Because we're the teachers. And I said, you are wrong. And he says, no, your birthday is 1997, March. I mean, May. They said May. May 25th. And I said, my birthday is March 25th, 1997. I said, that's not good enough for you. Go fuck yourselves. 
And they also said they're mothers. Mm. Boy, that had to get restrained because they took that as a threat. But you know, I was just speaking my mind calling those cockadoos on their bullshit. I think Miss Holmberg was in that. Yeah, Miss Cole. Yes! Now I remember why I started to hate them after a while. I forget what the third one was. Uh, oh yeah, she got it crying and crying because she had a new job and she decided to leave this job of teaching me and all the other kids and she says, <laughs> a hard decision to make and I had so much been big and paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm choking on her bad acting. <laughs> that broad. Nah, that's making that whore. Uh, well, those three were on my good side, but then after that, I decided to get on my bad side. <laughs> and you know, I didn't really want to celebrate my birthday, but mom, she insisted and decided I could have anything I want. So I went for a bunch of Ninja Turtle toys, and um, at midnight, everyone came around Ninja Turtle toys. So I said, you know, mom said, you know, if those weren't the, the ones, sweetie, that you wanted, um, I, uh, you can return them and get the, have also have some return them like your uh, aunts and uncles and um and get the ones you wanted and I said no no that's okay I'm not I uh, I um I just figure out how to fit them in the I just gotta figure out how to fit them in the van I got it I said I fit them in the van see mom and throw me an hour was uh so um and of course, I didn't tell the truth that I was getting kind of depressed that she didn't got the right ones. Or she didn't told the specific right ones to get for my, her family, that was also my family, to get me the right ones. That was inventable joints, not uh, wheels on the back. <sighs> This was at midnight after I um went up into my room and fall asleep after Vinny beat me. Exactly how he beat me this morning. Exactly how I beat Mr. Orlando that day. He punched me in the head uh a hundred times at least. <laughs> Might have been more, I don't know. Uh, but I start counting at the hundred. My head was spinning. I remember. <sighs> I remember that was the first and last time I bought me in the toilet because I didn't want Vinny to yell at me or make fun of me. Like he did when I threw up. The other time, another time, when I threw up, and he says, "What goes in must come out." I guess. Ha 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 ha. Oh, Jake, you really got me. I'm joking you. Because of course I didn't do that, but I wanted to so much. But you know, see, Mister Dumbass, which is fuckhead, which is. Cunt, which is Mr. Orlando, worked from Lighthouse, was told lies from Vinny, and he's so gullible and stupid he believed those big fat fucking lies instead of me, what I was saying. But your machines decided to shut me up because you guys aren't saying, Shh, I don't want you to get in more trouble. But you know what? And that's why I started, started grew a grudge against Miss James and Mr. Orlando. I could see they didn't do anything. And everyone at Lighthouse. All of the fucking teachers. They're all fucking cunts and morons. And they're the therapists. 
the rat. And I bit the heads on rat. You know, one time I, no, the rat rats. Rats, rats are big. They're mice. And you wanna, I kill the mice with a foam bazooka. Mm. He was nerf bazooka. <laughs> As it was now, and I felt proud of myself. I couldn't feel more proud of myself. And then, um, Miss Bonnet, she was my teacher. Then, uh, but you know, when I was tradition, it ended up being another disappointment because you know, after my 10th birthday, they decided to stop being nice to me and just uh, give me being pick on me like Finney. Backstabbers. Those fucking bastards and cunts. You see, Miss Spanish is in something that's me that the teachers from my own classroom or kids didn't do. The next day, after my 10th birthday, he said, Oh, you're right. Sorry, your birthday was on March 21st. Sorry, buddy. I saw there was no cake left. I said, there's no cake left? I said, well, no, you wouldn't time out. I said, couldn't you save me a slice? A side? And he says, no, we couldn't. Smiling. Miss Homburger was. She said that. No, we couldn't. Ha <laughs> ha, silly. She has no feelings. No brains. Nothing. My existence mean nothing to anyone. But it does now. I thought before I started this channel, before I was on this medicine, before I was on this medicine, as I was doing this show, I thought I didn't exist. My existing, me existing in this world, had no meaning or purpose. But it does now. And people are noticing. People are finally noticing me. And I'm not going to stop this show. And I'm going to make them keep on noticing me. Um, so let's go back to my 10th birthday. So anyway, Miss Bombash brought me a cake in time out in the sky. I was having some of the cake and, you know, I didn't go to finish it because, well, uh, this other time out, eh, bag? <laughs> One of us find this guy says, well, we called, we changed our name because of the word a bad. Because people kept on saying we were bad because of that name. Yeah, sure. Keep on telling yourself, you fucking cunt. You know who I'm talking about if you're watching this. You're a pussy. You decided to say a kid to a fucking minor can you do push-ups 
And then he said, oh, no, you can't. And he said, why? He was one of the time I was, just, I, we were making fun of him. I see we're friends with him, but that's some friend you should decide to be. And uh, you said, if you can't, you're weak. And I said, I decided to show him how to do push-ups. This was after my 10th birthday. You know, when my people were treating me like I was some kind of punk when they were the fucking punks and they were full of shit and cocksuckers. Um, <laughs> um, so I decided to show him how to put the push-ups and he says, you're doing it wrong. You're not doing push-ups. <laughs> what a dick a douche that a guy is. I can't remember what his name, but he had short brown hair, was not too skinny, but not too muscular. And, you know, he was always shorter than me. Come to think of it. And uh, he used to be really skinny. Looked like he didn't work at all and he ate a sandwich. So what does he do? When he gets some muscle, he decides to pick on the little guy because he's a punk. Oh, but I'm the punk. You said to me one time, what, you think you're the leader of this of people in this classroom? What, you think there's some, you're some kind of leader of them? I said, no. Well, you know what? Maybe I should be of that leader. Because you and your stupid teachers are not doing a good job leading them or educating them or teaching them good lessons. Punk. Scumbag. Douche. <laughs> I hope you're watching this. This is for all of you bastards, cobaltites, backstabbers, except for you, Miss Cormier. You were the only one that treated me like I was a person with intelligence. And treated me like I wasn't a joke when it comes to artwork, being an artist, or being a movie critic. <laughs> Uh, this guy Robert, he took that way because everyone else after the app, before everyone else knew that I was a good artist. But then I, I made the, this kid Robert a drawing of man spider. He don't, he don't know that the spider man has a mutated into a spider, a giant spider. You know, I um. <laughs> I drew the picture and then he told everyone and the teacher in his classroom were in several classrooms at the time. This was after my 10th birthday and they said he drew it and I said come clean. Tell them the truth. And I said this is the truth. This is my drawing. This is my drawing of Man Spider J. I should put my fucking name on it. I think he was going to do the nice thing, you know, tell everybody how great of a drawer is. So, people, you should get more drawings from this guy. And if you want, wanted him to draw more stuff, and it's. They wanted, they look for him instead of me, and then, you know, he must have said something I wasn't as good as draw him, because these, that's exactly what they said. You're not as good as draw as Robert, and you didn't draw that. <laughs> And the teacher was just smiling. Oh, Jake. He's a class clown. And just, I said, oh, you, you draw it, okay? Oh, okay, show me. Exactly, right here, right now. Unless you're scared. And the teacher said, oh, he can't draw right now because he's working. Bullshit, bitch. He's not working. I don't see one actual uh, work mm, that he's doing. No schoolwork is on his fucking desk. I hope you're watching this because you're full of shit. You and your entire fucking family. Because they gave birth to you. Yeah, 
I went there. So Teacher told me to come on Jake um, And I just walked away Was being depressed With a glam look on her face No one asked me what was wrong Went to health class Mr. By Mr. Olinsky And she didn't tell me to come on And you know I just pretty much go so health class because health class was more important than my feelings. Class was more important than my feelings. All class. <sighs> they didn't have nice class. Dad thought so, but you know, they didn't told dad anything. Oh. Um, that's the light, um, uh, the phone is, it goes yellow after a while, and it's our time. So, um, yeah, you just gotta put up with that. All of my therapists at Lighthouse School abandoned me, except for Mr. Olinsky, because I did school permanently. Now, back to my 10th birthday. On my 10th birthday, when I um, had some cake in this a bag, um, it was the same a bag uh, that I was talking about earlier. Now I'm looking at you, asshole. This asshole thinks that he's dirty hairy. Yeah. Oh, I'm so tough. Hey. <laughs> Fuck you, punk. Make my day. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I hope you like my last punk.